Gosh, wow. Okay, uh, we've got a very special guest, Catherine has just called in. So the Exciting adverts times. can go and hold. Um, I don't know what to say. I'll just say, uh, welcome Professor Joe Lavens. Good evening, Professor. Wow. Good evening. Thank you for taking my call. That's Ian. Is that right? This is uh, Ian. We've, we've spoken before. And uh, Catherine, who's uh, my co-host. Uh, Professor Joe Lavens, for those who don't know, is probably uh, the leading, certainly in the top 50 leading UFO experts uh, in the world currently at the moment. Uh, thank you so much for calling in. Um, we were talking about, there was a big, big news story recently. They have found a human skull on Mars, uh, Professor. And, of course, we know that you think humans came because aliens came to Earth and I think done it with a monkey. That is correct. Um, but you are, I, I just wondered, ah, and I can just see you've sent me some, are these, what are these, photographs you've sent me? Yes, indeed. It's some diagrams, diagrams that I wrote, uh, I drew myself, based on some work by the conspiracy theorist Scott C. Waring, uh, who has, <laughs> I, I think, I believe the story that, yeah, it's pretty conclusive, uh, the skull that uh, he has reported on Soul 410. I've drawn, and I've drawn next to it an alien, as I understand it, an extraterrestrial. It's okay, comparison I'm going to size. Okay. Uh, please, yeah, it's, it is it's only a diagram. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not factual. It's, it's very much my interpretation. Some rocks. Okay, I'm going to tweet these. Just. So, to, okay, first sir. of all, do you buy this story? Do you think they have found oh, a human yeah. skull on Mars? Oh, not only that. Yeah, very much so. Uh, just to, to, to recap the story, uh, through the NASA site Midnight Planets, uh, Scott C. Waring claims to have found evidence of the skull. Uh, he goes one step further by saying the skull actually appears to show signs of the type of pain. Uh, you see the teeth showing, you see the lips parted. If you look at the skull I've drawn, and it's in a green, a green color, which is the traditional scary, uh, color of Mars. I, I've shown the mouth, the wide open mouth. I think in a gray, he does look like he could have died in pain. The jaw and cheek, uh, eye ridges are well pronounced. The nose looks human, but wider, thicker on the top. Uh, I didn't get the detail of the back of the head, but it seems to have part of the neck and the head still attached to it. So uh -huh. it's my interpretation uh, based on scientific facts. Okay, I'm just, um, just, I've just got to turn one of these pictures round. Uh, right. Catherine, as we know, is yeah. a non, doesn't believe in any of this stuff. A non believer. Well, uh, yeah. I'm an open minded skeptic, Professor, but uh, it does seem <laughs> rather far fetched. Now. Oh, do we not have, um, do we not have a tendency as human beings to look for faces in ordinary objects? You know, that's kind of a primeval thing, isn't it? Yes, yes, I, I guess you're right. But, uh, in this case, there have been so many things found on Mars. You only have to go to various websites to see the, the skull, uh, jugs, mm. the medieval jugs, uh, a pair of trousers has been seen on there, uh, some platform oh. shoes, um, or a rosary bead and uh, what looks like a gunk from about 1978, whether that's an alien one, uh, something that's something of a good luck charm that children might break into exams. Did you say, uh, a, did you say a pair of jugs? Yes, a pair of jugs has been seen on Mars, uh, certainly. <laughs> um, medieval Grecian jugs. You, you, okay, so you know you can... that Breasts, you mean breasts? Yes, sir. A pair of oh. ladies, uh, ladies' jugs have been seen on... Uh, on Mars, quite big ones, quite big, big ones, wobbly ones, you know. Well, they'd have to be to be seen from here. Yes, sir. I mean, I'm obviously. <laughs> obviously, lunar craft uh, have come across a number of um, ladies' knockers and, and what have you, but but not only that. On Mars, like, right? yes. On Mars, yes. ladies' knockers on Mars. This is astounding. This is astounding. Yeah, breasts, ladies, ladies' breasts. And um, a couple of Grecian uh, pots, various uh, accoutrements for any landing craft. And uh, as you can see there, I've drawn uh, what, what a number of people have reported is an alien uh, with an arm like an extra long knob. But he, he is about the size of... An extra long what now? Sorry, a penis. If you look at the picture, arm. Catherine, it's, a, it's an arm like an extra long knob. I'm going to have to Google Mars yeah, knob. I, I, no, no, it's not to be silly. It's a a, a, ma a phallus, a man's dangle dangle. But it's Mar Mars phallus. Made of, okay. uh, yeah, Mars phallus. And oh, yeah, I can see it. Yeah. One that was my nickname. Nickname at school. 
Dingle dangle. Uh, Mars Fallis. Right. Okay. If you're going to be silly about it, I'm just. I'm. I'm. Just I'm not being silly. I... That was genuinely. He was from Slough. That's where the factory is. Uh, we, we've got some comments. Um, right. Laura says, "I'm not standing by him when he waves." Uh, Roger, yeah, because well. of the dingle dangle arm. Oh, Roger I, says, yeah. "Actual proof." Um, Andrew oh, yeah. says, "Is the genitalia to scale?" Good question, Andrew. Is the genitalia That's a good to scale uh, in the diagram? If you look at the picture, the the, the actual long phallus uh, in itself uh, is probably to scale. And if you look, you can just see a pair of nuts under his arm there. Uh, so, he, yeah. So I would say that probably, uh, David, I mean, I, I've not been to Nis Mars, but. No. David Nisbet says WTF, and that means what the flip. I, I don't think he's buying it. Oh, I thought it was why the face. Um, I know what that okay, means. Okay, and uh, yeah, Divi says, are they testicles under his arm? We've established. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, that. sir. So, so, and this is so uh, on, but I'm confused. Why would there be? Uh, stories go back to this. Why would there be Greek women's breasts on Mars? And that's very specific. No, no, no. I, sorry, I, I misunderstanding. There is Greek paraphernalia from uh, you know uh, ancient times, pre-medieval times, pots, pans, knives, forks. Um, rudimentary cutting equipment but yeah. to knives you said, you said left, knives 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 etc you said and knives then, and then you said rudimentary cutting equipment you, it you, means you, big you choppers kind of, okay. okay look i you don't have to i know what you're trying to pick but did, yes, did, knives, they, did the aliens have big choppers yes they had things to chop things with all i'm saying is that as well as that there are a pair of ladies knockers up on one of the hills in 410 <laughs> in Seoul 410 uh, but what I'm saying to you, with breath, sorry, breath, and what I'm saying is you can yes, see that where where uh, the the landing craft has gone around. There's various photos. There's all kinds of things there. Yeah. And I'm just reporting what I've seen. I've not been yep. there, but I, I I know people at NASA, and and, and there's all uh, sorts of things up there, which will become apparent as we go. So I hope that's been some help to you. Okay, that's been. Uh that's been really helpful, uh, uh, okay. Professor. Um, I, I, I really appreciate that. Uh, is, is this anything we should be concerned about? Well, you want to uh, hope that when this this whole thing is over, that uh, there's a lot of talk about the aliens coming down to save us, which is fine. But you uh, you just take a good look at what I've drawn there with that alien, and he's got the long yeah. arm. Like oh, a, I'll be a man, studying that a, a after man, the show when I'm in bed, yeah. A, a, a man's winkle, and you, you want to make sure that that yeah. doesn't come down and uh, and do you any damage. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Good night. And as the aliens say, conkili, conkili, conkili. What does conkili what does what does mean? mean? It means good night, God bless, hope the bugs don't bite. <laughs> do they have bugs and gods in God, do no, they have I, bugs I don't, and gods? I, I'm just saying what the aliens say. So you, okay, what are you making? Con daily. 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 women's knockers. Big, big fat titties on Mars. They got big fat titties on Mars. You don't have to keep saying big fat knockers. It's not. Okay, good night. They got big good. fat boobies on Mars. Guys, okay, come and look through my telescope. They got big fat <laughs> boobies on Mars. What a time to turn around and see my 10 year old standing at the top of the stairs. Joe, it's nice to talk to you. Thank you. We'll be back. This is Talk Radio. <laughs>